What's going on YouTube? Sorry I look half asleep. We woke up about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, and it's 5.50 in the morning right now. We're getting ready to go up to Walden MX, do some vending, hit the races. It's a Loretta Lynn's area qualifier, so should be pretty cool. Check the weather outside. And it looks a little rainy. Hopefully it stops. We'll see how it is up at Walden. And uh, yeah, let's just hit the road, get up there. All right, these shoes are the only ones that aren't totally muttered out and we'll try to keep them clean today. Hopefully we could do that. The ankle's squeezing in very nicely. It's doing pretty good. Getting a lot of mobility back in it, and uh, yeah, the pain has subsided a lot, so we're good to go. We got our trusty gallon of water that we filled up from home because, well, my dad does plumbing, so we have really good water and there's no need to buy a gallon. Reuse them. Need to grab one of these. Okay, we have all the essentials. We got some mango, some grapes, banana, classic Saja juice. And then we got the gluten-free breakfast sandwich, which I'm so pumped about. This place, Mobile, right down the road from me, they're open 24 hours. The deli's open from like 5 a.m. to 7 p.m., like really late, so it's awesome. Pretty, pretty cool setup they have there and uh, really nice people in there. I actually gained a subscriber, which is awesome. This um, lady that works there, she's super nice. I always see her in there, and she was like, oh, what's the camera for? And she, she saw me in there with it a couple times, and she was like, oh, what's your YouTube channel? So I typed it into her phone, and we got a new subscriber. Shout out to you, I appreciate it so much. And um, yeah, we are just headed up now. We're about like two minutes from my house. So we'll be there in like 45 minutes. All right, I'll, oh. do, I'll do a loop around, and then I'll come back and grab you. All right. All right, bye. Get on in. Thought you said you weren't coming. I, I never said I wasn't coming. Well, you're driving up. Yeah. This guy's holding us up. Welcome, race fans. We are here. Walden MX. Pull up to this gate. Looks a little quicker. Took the left side line. How you doing? He's a vendor today. All right. On a list. Simple, simple functional clothing. Everybody's parking there, yeah. All right, we're here. We got the same spot as last time, which is pretty cool. A little muddy. Definitely a bit muddy. Shoes are going to get dirty, like I said, they might not. It's all good. The easy up little setup. Kind of on the higher ground, stay out of the mud a bit. And we have the fresh 125, cleaned it up last night, got it all good to go. I don't know if I shut the gas off or not because there's gas all over the floor. All right, so we got this thing all set up. Finally got a banner. Actually picked this thing up last night, very late, so that was cool. Little dirt bike on it. Same emblem as the shirts, so it's cool. We have the bike sitting right here. And then a couple more shirts, all the hats lined up. We're good to go. Right by the Stargate once again, which is awesome. Perfect spot. On pit bikes. Okay, so we're changing some tires on the 125. We're getting 33s on front and back. I was gonna say 32s because I'm so used to that from back in the day. I haven't ran one, a new 33, until last time here. But hopefully the weather shapes up because it's pretty muddy out here now. I really wanna race this bike today, but I do not know if I am because it's just so muddy. I would hate to go out. I'd cry if I went out there in the mud with this thing, but eventually it's definitely gonna get really dirty. But we'll see if there's like a 125 class or something. Maybe I could go out after practice, see how the track's shaping up. I'm just worried about the clothing and hanging out with my friends, just uh, cheering them on catching up on some rest for the up and coming events and pro races coming up too. So, should be a good one today, either way. All right, so we got some fresh tires on the bike right now. Some MX-33s, 
looking really good, but we are not racing today. We decided to not race because I do not want to get this thing dirty. I looked at all the bikes coming off the track and I'm like, oh my goodness, that, that shit's ridiculous. You can't get this baby dirty like that, so we're just gonna have a good time here at Walden MX. Just uh, being in the sport I love, motocross, just watching this racing, cheering all my boys on, and maybe get the GoPro on somebody's helmet. If it will not um, get blasted, you know, I'm gonna tell that boy to get that whole shot or flip the GoPro around. Who knows? But we're out here having a great time today. What kind of hat is that, dude? Happy How you doing? What's up with that hat? Uh, you don't hook me up, bro. I don't hook you up. <laughs> Here's a brand new one. Hold on, let's, right head, off of my head. Your head's a little bigger than mine. Well, I'm just running it a little loose. All right. So what's going on, dude? Give us a little, <laughs> give us, give us a little update on the, uh, uh, on the wrist, because uh, everyone knows if they watch TJ Albright, he crashed or actually didn't get, didn't, crash. didn't crash. He got cleaned out. We're not even gonna say a name, but it was a it pretty, is is. pretty touchy just, situation. You can watch it and then, you it and then see who was on the wrong the there. You can hit me in the DMs and let me know what you think about see, it. See who was in the wrong on that one, but I thought it was a little of a move. But anyway, how are you feeling, bro? Feeling alright. I went to the doctors the Monday after the race and they basically said that I'd be out for, or I'd go back in two weeks to make sure the bone's healing properly and then basically go from there. So I go back to the doctors May 16th. And then, uh, yeah, we'll know more then. But hopefully, hopefully it's not too long since you know, it kind of was out of my control. So it's kind of a bummer that it actually happened. But I had a pretty good year going, honestly. And uh, looking forward to getting healed back up and then hitting a few outdoors. Oh yeah, what outdoors do you plan on doing? Because I'm doing like eight of them. So. Realistically, I'd like to start at High Point. That's the plan. If yeah. I can get some funds together to put it all together. And uh, but if not, not High Point, then. I'll probably just end up doing Southwick and Unadilla, but my goal is to do all of the East Coast ones except for Millville and, or start at High Point, I should say, and then do all of them except for Millville and Washougal just because they're pretty far away. Right but on. other than that, yeah, just healing up, training, and ready to get back at it. Yeah, what did you do? Uh, so, you cut your cast off. When they, I mean, I broke my hand right there. So when I went to the doctors, they put my cast on up here. So I kind of wasn't having that. So I cut her with a butter knife. It took me about an hour and a half, chopped it down a little bit. Now I can move my wrist so it don't lock up. So I'm already ahead of the game if you think about it. Get back on the road bike too. Yeah, well, when I hit get bumps in the, the when I hit bumps in the car, it kind of hurts my hand. So the road bike starts in like maybe a week or two, but no doubt. I'll definitely be hitting up Chick-fil-A working on my Eaten. But there's no Chick-fil-A around here. We live in shitty New York. All right, we got the first note about to go off right now. They just did the national anthem. Ryder Fox coming back for the victory. Nice hat, bro. Thanks, man. What's going on? TJ, you never went to college, right? No. I never went to college. I got top three in college boy at Loretta's. Did you race college boy at Loretta's? No, never. Well, you raced college boy before. So we're about to watch the college boy moto, and uh, it makes no sense though. I mean, school boy don't really make sense for a lot of these kids neither. Because none of them are in school, and we sure as shit weren't. Uh, justified in racing school boy. Yeah, I did, right? You didn't go to school for a little while. What the hell just happened? You, you just I came over and said you got into a rap battle? Yeah, I got it. T says he got into a rap battle no, with a like a, rap battle. a heated, heated a rap battle right. with a young kid. I was, I was, I was dropping bars. How old was the kid? 13. Jeez, dude, you were dropping bars? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I swear. All right, we'll have to throw that uh, SoundCloud link below, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Put it in the description below. Yeah, Thomas Jefferson. All right, we're into the second motos now. We just had a gate drop. It was minis, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna go down and check out some B classes and 250A also, but the track is definitely drying out a lot. Some good ass lines out there and everything is looking pretty deep and ruddy.
about a wrap on the races here that was the last moto and uh, yeah it was pretty cool ruts are getting gnarly the track shaped up to be actually pretty good but I think it's calling for rain tonight and uh, yeah we're setting or sorry we're taking everything down not setting up taking everything down throwing it back in the van and then popping it back out tomorrow we'll be here again we are out 607 not too bad Race days go late sometimes, especially in the summer when it stays light out till freaking nine o'clock. But we are out of here. Got a little 50 minute drive home. Let's get it. Okay, so that's about it for Walden. Good day, it was fun. The weather just stayed really nice, which was good. It held off. We thought it was gonna rain, but it didn't. So yeah, I'm excited to see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully the weather stays like this and doesn't rain, but they're kind of calling for showers. Who knows though, it's been so up and down. Hopefully it stays good and we can rip the 125 tomorrow. Have some fun, go maybe in the 450 class and I don't know if there's like a pro sport class or something like that, but we'll see. We're just gonna get back home, rest up, recover, just edit a little bit and uh, have a good night. But we'll see you guys tomorrow at the race. Peace.